from the center. Tony, I'm Bram Weinstein. Let's check out the highlights. Jeff Curry got Tristan Thompson on skates and knocks down a big three. The Heat have a chance to make this wrong or right. The Miami Heat made a big mistake by allowing Dwayne Wade to leave in free agency. Dwayne Wade's always been about loyalty. He showed that loyalty when the Heat signed LeBron James and Chris Bosh in free agency to form the big three. Wade took less money. Wade is owed this money because LeBron James is not there anymore. The Heat have a chance to make this wrong or right. Dwayne Wade signed a two-year deal in Chicago, making him a free agent after one year. The Miami Heat can re-sign Dwayne Wade in two years and let him retire as a member of the Miami Heat. A lot of history on the line in Oakland with Cedric Cody. I'm Bram Weinstein. Let's check out the highlights. Here we go. Game seven of the NBA Finals, and this is the best regular season team ever on their home court. Had the best record at home this year. LeBron James was ready. Game phase on. And Cleveland was ready too. How about this little cherry pick bucket early? Everything easy is always going to help. And so Cleveland had a one point lead. It was nip and tuck the whole way, and now James showing his force early in the game. When LeBron James makes his mind going to the basket, nobody can stop him. The problem is no one can stop this. Give Steph Curry any amount of space and he will bury you. Steph Curry, one of the best in the business. So close game, two point game, second quarter. Here's Curry, he's never shy going down the lane, but LeBron was there. LeBron showed his athleticism by telling Steph, get that weak stuff out of here. Two threes and now back to the right and a finish with the left. It's all about versatility. He showed his versatility there, finishing with the left under the rim. And now back to LeBron James, who is not known for his range, but how about this three from the left side? Well, LeBron James is making threes, folks. You can turn out the lights. Here comes the play of the game, Andre Iguodala. No, James closes on him with the block. This shows you why he's one of the best athletes in the game at his side. He closes and blocks the shot at the rim. And then on the other end, is this the shot of the game? Under a minute to go, tie game. Kyrie Irving, 4-3 and the lead. Ice in the veins, Uncle Drew shows you why he's one of the best at doing it. Huge shot for Cleveland. They now have a lead with under 60 seconds to play. They came back from 3-1 in the series. How did they do it? Defense, commitment, will. They had to not give up on themselves. They couldn't give up on the city of Cleveland, so they stayed the course stayed with the game plan, and pulled it out. Let's talk about a little legacy here with LeBron James. So he's won this very rare breed of superstar who has won championships with multiple franchises as the face of those organizations. What does this do for the legacy of LeBron James? LeBron James can now be classified as Moses. He brought the people to the promised land. So now the city of Cleveland is called the promised land. It's called promised land because LeBron James made do on his promise. How about best player in NBA history? We are gonna go there yet? Whoa, well, pump the brakes. MJ is still the man. LeBron James is on his way, but he's not at the throne with MJ. Six straight uh, trips to the finals, three championships, two different teams. If you count the other incarnation of the Cavaliers, he really went with three different franchises to the finals. How does he not compare to Michael Jordan yet? I didn't say compare, I said being Michael. He's being compared to Michael. There's been a lot of players. Kobe Bryant has been compared to Michael, but there's only one Michael. 